today in the court of Judge Mills Lane. This acclaimed chef says he quit his job when his boss sabotaged his special. He says the owner told him not to cause too much trouble. He called me and said he's going to send his goons to kill me or something. Like he didn't already try if I, if I took him to small claims court. But there's one person in the courtroom who's not buying it. Why would somebody that's making monies in a restaurant offer to take the food back? Because if you offer to do that, wouldn't you also have to say you don't have to pay for it? Who's responsible when a dog dies? Find out today in the court of Judge Mills Lane. He grew up in the country and in the core. He was a boxer, a lawyer, a prosecutor, and a referee. In the ring and in the courtroom, he's fair and he's firm. A fighter and a family man. He's Mills Lane, America's judge. In this case, a galloping gourmet of sorts is fighting back, and this guy's not slinging hash to do it. Steve Goldberg, a critically acclaimed chef, is suing his former employer. Goldberg claims Jim Cristiano criticized his work, never paid him, and took his equipment without permission. Instead of seeing his boss in the kitchen, he's seeing him in court and demanding $3,000. The judge is hearing this case. Let's listen. This is a case about a dog bite. We have Ms. Lorraine Hershonik. Um, no, Your Honor. Ms. Hershonik, Hershonik, this is your case, ma'am. Let's get it on. Let me hear your side of it, please. I take it that what you're telling me is the food came back because some person eating it, some customer, told the owners of the management, look, I don't, this food doesn't taste good. Is that what happened? Um, no, that, that must be a different case because that's, no. Let's assume that it was a vicious attack. Let's assume you were injured and you have bills here and we see that. Uh, um, how about if we, if we just tell you because I, I don't think you're going to guess it. All right, go ahead. Okay, what happened is this. I'm just, you know, walking down the street, you know, going to the liquor store, picking up some, uh, um, going to tell them that it's a bad place and, uh, this, this guy's dog jumps out of nowhere and, and he just starts gnawing on my leg. He attacks me. He just attacks me out of nowhere. Started biting my leg. Dug into it real deep. It's a vicious attack. He, attacking me here. He's just attacking me. He, he attacked me like I've never been attacked before. Like no one's ever attacked anybody before. And so of course I had to pull out my switch. I had to pull out my pocket knife. And, uh, and I just had to stab him because because I would have died right there on the spot. I would have died, so I had to stab him. So then, because I stabbed his dog, he got his rifle out and he gunned me down. He, he shot me in the chest. And so you see, I'm seeking compensation because of this attack by his dog. I mean, because I don't, because, because he shot me and I missed work. And I'm seeking compensation because of the time I missed at work because he shot me in the chest. I don't see the nexus between that and missing work. Oh, well, I, I got shot in the chest. I, I was hospitalized. I was in a hospital bed, Whatever. and I, I had to miss work yeah. because, because I got shot in the chest. I couldn't, I could hardly breathe. I was hooked to an iron lung. I, I, I don't doubt that. I'm taking it as a given that you were injured. I don't see the nexus between that and not being able to get down to work. I mean, on crutches or, or hobbling. Uh, he shot me in the chest. Have you ever been, if you've been gunned down in the chest, I was bleeding profusely. They had to rush me to the hospital. I almost died. I, you know, I, it broke three of my ribs. I couldn't move, much less work. Mr. Shoney, you know, I'm, uh... I call myself an old country boy, which is true, and, uh, and I, I, let me, let me tell you what I know. First off, I, I haven't heard Mr. Palumbo's side, so I'm going to assume that you were bitten by the dog, and I'm going to assume that this medical bill is from it. It's from, and I know when you go to the emergency room, and when you leave, you don't, hold, you don't have an open, gaping wound. They sew it up, they bandage it up, and that's what it is. I, 
I, I couldn't work. I tried to go to work. I went to work and I was I was bleeding everywhere. I was making a big mess. They they made me go home. I I couldn't they said I couldn't work. I mean I tried to add a big hole in my chest and and blood everywhere and they, they just they told me to go home and they wouldn't let me work it. Mr. Uh, Beckley, okay. Um, Doug's Lane, my name is Mr. Palumbo. That's uh, P-U-L-O-M-B-O, Palumbo. Right here. Well, let me ask this question straight up. Did you ever take the food back and say the food too salty? Salty? Would... <laughs> this is Joe, you talk salty? No, no, no. What happened was he stabbed my dog. I mean, yeah, my dog's name was Pepper, but I mean, that's salty. I don't... What does salty have to do with anything? What are you talking about, salty? What? This is a joke? What? Hey! I'm the one that talks in this court when I want to talk. You do not talk. Don't give me that dipsy doodle. You're wrong and you know it. You're wrong and you know it and you're dancing me around. I don't need to hear from you anymore. Your Honor, I have a witness who saw the whole thing. Okay, Mr. Gold, I need to talk to you, ma sir. Can you come forward and tell me what do you know about this case other than what Ms. Ms. Hershonik told me? The dog came after me, initially. The dog came right after me, baring its teeth and growling. And it's, I was standing, standing here, uh, she's whatever. standing here, with her facing me. So she didn't see the dog coming, okay? The dog is coming after me. Off the leash. All right? Off the leash, thank you. And <coughs> all of a sudden, just, it must have caught, sorry, it must sorry. have snipped her jeans, or caught her, whatever, <laughs> for whatever reason swerved and attacked her. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. I've seen the evidence. I've heard the testimony. All right, Mr. Palumbo. Now let me thank you very much, sir. Let me hear your side of it. Um, I just, Judge Lane, I just wanted to let um, you and the court know that um, I had my dog on a leash um, that day and see what happened was um, these girls were rollerblading and, and everything and they were pretty looking. And uh -huh. so like, as I turned, Left. And, like, the dog like, what? ran. But only he ran like to the side and like I let go of my grip because hey, you know I was hey, like hey, preoccupied hey. whatever. And they've owned plenty of dogs and the only thing that's really good about you is your hairdo. Okay. <laughs> And that won't be enough to win this case. Will Mr. Palumbo get his act together? You'll find out when testimony continues. Coming up. If I represented to you that this dog has been the subject matter of other litigation like this, would that surprise you? No. Why wouldn't it surprise you? Because it has. got really bad, terrible hours. That's okay because there's usually no one here because it sucks. I like all the weights because they're really crappy weights. And if they were expensive weights, I wouldn't be able to come here because I wouldn't be able to afford it. I really like the locker rooms because there are a lot of men taking showers. You know, at the end of the day, it's really hard to get motivated, but boy, those men in the showers, they really do it for me because, uh, you know, we're kind of cheating and everything.